In the pandemic, half of all counties in the U.S. are now considered high transmission areas for coronavirus driven by Delta variant. Today, L.A. County reported more than 3,000 3, new cases and five deaths. And nearly 1,100 patients are in the hospital, most of them unvaccinated. CBS 2's Rick Montanez reports on the effort to get more health workers vaccinated. As more COVID patients come into hospitals across Southern California, the concern is focused on the unvaccinated population, especially young adults. Now, federal data shows the rate of vaccination for people working in those hospitals varies quite a bit. They should be much higher uh, in terms of uh, vaccination coverage than what they are, given where we are at this point in the pandemic, the availability of vaccines. Dr. Richard Carpiano is a professor of public policy at UC Riverside. He says non-clinical jobs, from administrative staff to cafeteria workers and janitors, people in those positions may not be as up to speed on the pandemic or the vaccine as nurses and doctors are. At hospitals like County USC Medical Center in Boyle Heights and County Olive View UCLA Medical Center in Silmar, only about half the staff is vaccinated. Federal data also shows a vast minority of staff, about 2%, remain unvaccinated at Orange County Global Medical Center in Santa Ana, Memorial Care Saddleback in Laguna Hills, and USC Verdugo Hills Hospital in Glendale. The numbers show higher hospital vaccination rates tend to be found in more affluent communities. Which is a general trend that we, we often see uh, with vaccination, but it's, it's particularly been one that we see with COVID. As the Delta variant spreads, the goal nationwide is targeting and educating the unvaccinated. We've really got to get those people to change their minds, make it easy for them, convince them, do something to get them to be vaccinated because they are the ones that are propagating this outbreak. Dr. Courtney Gadangle, a physician researcher for the RAND Corporation, says what may help most is understanding why someone is hesitant. I think too often we make assumptions about why people aren't vaccinating, and certainly there can be an us versus them sort of dynamic that doesn't necessarily need to be there and isn't always helpful. Understanding the science and helping people to trust it. Hospital workers across the state will soon have to give proof of vaccination or submit to weekly COVID tests, as announced by the governor last week. Hospitals and medical offices have until August 23rd to comply. In Silmar, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.